White lives in the enchanted woods, surrounded by the joyful and kind Seven Dwarves. The princess is now happy and serene, and in her heart, the memory of time spent with a dear friend still flourishes. trying to tell me. Oh! <gasps> My friend Cuckoo! Cuckoo is a little bird given to baby Snow White as a gift by her mother. <sighs> Cuckoo had left the cottage to deliver a letter to Richard. Richard received the letter, wrote a reply, and gave it to Cuckoo to bring back to Snow White. Now, Cuckoo has returned. Welcome back, my little Cuckoo. Not too tired, I hope? Oh. A letter from Richard. I have to admit I was worried about QQ. The poor bird must have flown very far to reach the prince. I'm relieved to see him. Me too. Tell me, princess, huh? what did the letter say? You'll tell me, won't you? You shouldn't ask such questions. It's time for me to teach you some manners. What are you talking about? If the people I love have problems, it's better for me to know what's going on. You are right. But I have to confess that I haven't even read the letter yet. I can't believe it. You must be curious about it. You're right. But I can't prepare breakfast for eight people and read the letter at the same time. You are truly an amazing girl, so responsible. To be honest, I wanted to be all alone so I could take my time to read it. Ah, we understand. You want to be able to savor the prince's words of love. Oh, what on earth do you mean? You're blushing, Snow White. You're as red as a poppy. <laughs> <laughs> you can laugh now, but you won't be laughing when it happens to you. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Snow White, what a happy surprise when I realized that the messenger bringing me your letter was Cuckoo. I couldn't believe my eyes. I had to pinch myself to make sure I wasn't dreaming. <laughs> Thank you, Cuckoo. I train and study regularly, and at night I am so tired. desire for us to be together again. Uh, did you hear that? He wants us to be reunited. Snow White, <gasps> Snow White! What does the letter say? You are too curious. I'm not telling you anything. I'm not asking out of curiosity, but because I'm your friend and care for you so much. I'd like to know what Richard wrote. Show me the letter. I'm sorry, I can't tell you anything. It's a secret. Come on, don't be like that. You can tell me anything. Show me what the letter says. Hmm, it's so uh, late. I must uh, take care of the laundry. Huh? Laundry? I hope one day to be like my father. Dearest Richard, oh my beloved, I hope your chivalry won't become an obstacle against our love. 
Snow White, I'm waiting for you to put out the napkins so that I may set the table. Oh, my goodness. I forgot. Did you forget to dry the linens? Uh, I'm so sorry. I don't know what's come over me. I'll take care of it right away. Don't worry. We don't really need napkins. Just as long as we have food. Oh. Hmm. It appears Prince Richard's words have swept our princess off her feet. I'm so sorry. What? You want me to come with you to see Snow White so that I can translate? Well, of course you need to communicate with our mistress. I would like to, but unfortunately I have lots of work to do around the cottage. But if you like, I can teach you a song that contains a magic formula. Once you learn it, you'll be able to talk to humans too. Listen carefully, friends. It goes like this. You want to speak, but you don't know how to say it right. Look to a spell found in the moonlight of the night. It's a magic formula to help you get your tongue untied. Talking to humans is easy once you give it a try. If there's a person you would like to talk to, you just need a certain kind of magic to Found on the leaves of ancient enchanted trees, just a drop or two, and they'll be hearing you. Spin around and wait just a minute and the spell is done, but they can only hear you until the day is done. Snow White, this is all our fault. Yeah. What are you talking about? It's true. It's our fault. How can you be talking? This is only possible in fairy tales. Please tell me what's going on.
that ribbon on the left ear. That ribbon belongs to our princess. No doubt about it. Oh my, that's incredible. Do you know what the problem is, Vet? Oh dear, I think I know what happened. Well, if that's true, you must tell us what you think mm. happened. I didn't think the magic formula I taught them would really work. A magic formula? Uh-huh. It's true. We wanted to communicate with you. We just huh? wanted to know what it was like. You look so unhappy. We wanted to do something for you. I am touched. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you. I understand now. I think it's unfair huh? that you're the only one who happens to speak their language. One day I'll explain how I got that gift. In any case, we must find a solution to this problem. Don't worry, the spell is only effective for one day, and at sundown, Snow White will become human again. I hope so. Please forgive us, Snow White. We're sorry. Don't worry, I'm not angry. This is actually an interesting experience for me. Let's just enjoy the day and spend it laughing and singing. She says she wants them to play all day. I don't see why not, but I would prefer if they didn't go too far into the woods. Okay. Great, I love to play. Ah! Why you always have to grab me like that? What about huh? science? Did you forget? You're supposed to be my assistant, assistant? to help with my experiments. Huh? I believe that you made a promise to me. But couldn't it wait a little? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Cuckoo. <laughs> Yesterday, this door seemed so small to me, and now it is so huge. Come with us, Snow White. We want to take you somewhere. <laughs> wait up! Hey, wait for me! Are you sure you really want to go in there? Don't worry, follow me! But it's so dark. It's okay. I know where we're going. Up ahead. I'll race you. I only have tiny little paws. It's beautiful. I think this is the perfect place to play. What do you want to play? Fine. Milk, turn around and count to 100. <laughs> okay, now run! They won't find me. Yeah, this is a good place to hide. What about there? Didn't take long to find you. Eh. Uh, uh, Mill, hurry! Hurry! Quick! Help!
castle. I have to get back to the woods before the spell is broken. I don't know how much time I have left as a rabbit. If Snow White does not return to the woods in time, the Wicked Queen will surely find her. I've got to hurry! Be upset. Are you afraid of my helmet? Uh, Richard? I see that you're all right, thank goodness. You're safe now. You know, I saved you because you remind me of somebody. That ribbon on your head reminds me of a girl I once knew, Snow White. She used to live in that castle over there, but now she's very far away, and she always wore a ribbon that looked just like yours, the same style and color. I miss her. This time apart has made me realize just how much I care for her. Richard, you think I'm so far away, but I'm right here with you, in your arms. <laughs> Did you fall asleep? Aren't you just the cutest little thing? <laughs> oh, Richard, I feel so safe when I'm with you. I wish time itself would stop. But in a short while, it will be sundown and I... This is my good luck charm. This ribbon never leaves me. I always keep it right here on my arm. That's the ribbon I gave him. I'll show you something, but you have to promise not to eat it. This clover was also a present from my beloved princess. Snow White, but with you here, it's almost as if she's closer to me. Richard. It's all your fault. Your ribbon reminds me of the princess. I wanted to write her that I was passing by the castle, and as much as I wanted to see her, I didn't. I feared that if I saw her, I would have dropped all my duties just to stay by her side forever. But I can't do that. Snow White, your father is fighting bravely on the battlefield. And when I become a true man, a true knight, I will come and fetch you. So please wait patiently for me, Snow White. I promise we'll be together soon. Come with us, Richard. We're joining the Allied forces. Huh? The situation is getting worse, and we must get ready to fight. We're leaving at dawn. Very well. It's just as I feared. <laughs> I must go too, Richard. I have to leave you. I'm sorry. Farewell. Uh, hey! Come back! Come back! Uh. I know you must go back home. I understand. Good luck. Be careful! Richard, I am sure we'll meet again one day. Take care of yourself. I will wait for you forever. Much to Snow White's surprise, she has met Richard. She parted from him with sadness, but was able to appreciate a few unexpected moments of happiness. Confident that she will meet him again in the near future, she returns into the woods. She's returning to her home. <laughs> 